Hi there, Ben Porter with Polysource Industries. In today's video, we'll be giving a demonstration on how to apply one of our Roof Armor systems. We'll be focusing on our Roof Armor HD Hybrid Polyurea Protective Coating with Aluminum Pigment and our 3 pound Roof Armor Heat Shield Roofing Foam. For this demonstration, we constructed a mock roof with some of the classic structures that you'd find. Drainage, exhaust, built-in flashing, and 90 degree corners need to be built up and sprayed right if you want to have a long-lasting roof. We have already applied our Polysource Polylock Single Component Acrylic Elastomer Primer on top of the plywood. In warm temperatures, it is ready within 30 minutes for the foam to be applied. We have also applied an etching primer to the galvanized metal. If you want the best results in applying our roof armor systems, make sure to consult with one of our technical experts to figure out what is the best primer to be using with the substrate. Make sure to properly mask off areas that you don't want oversprayed. For the cleanest lines, use wire tape. Next we apply our Roof Armor Heat Shield 3 pound roofing foam. The heat shield has been specially formulated to have an even rise to help the foam spray flat. As you can see here, we start by building up the edges and go from there. Putting 45 degree angles on the edges and around the venting acts as a stress release once the coating is applied. We are crisscrossing our passes here to help evenly lay down the foam. We are spraying down 2 inches of heat shield and getting an R value of about 6 per inch. Being a 3 pound foam, it will have no issues with denting from hail. Next we remove the excess foam by cutting it and then pulling it off. This is made easier by the tape that was put down before it was sprayed. We take a cheese grater to help smooth out the rough foam on the venting for a nicer finish. We use a disc grinder on the foam to get rid of any sharp angles. Next we take the grinder and a bread knife to cut out the drain. We then use the grinder to create a slope to the drain. One of the great benefits of the system is being able to slope the roof with the foam to optimize drainage. Any cracks or small mist areas, we fill with a moisture cured urethane. Even with the polyurea being sprayed directly on top, it will still cure out. Next we mix up some of our self-leveling hybrid polyurea and spread it onto some of the dents that we purposely made. The level it works great in a variety of roof applications, such as sloping or filling in mist areas. Now that 15 minutes has gone by for the level it to set up, we're almost ready to apply the Roof Armor HD. We wipe down the vent and drain with a 50-50 mixture of solvents to help with bonding, and we're ready to go! We start with the hard to reach edges and go from there. By the time we're finished, we'll have a completely waterproof membrane that's sealed off from the harshest weather that Mother Nature can offer. With the built-in aluminized pigment, the roof helps to reflect the sun and keep the heat out. This built-in pigment only dulls over time, whereas other polyureas would change to a nasty green. We make sure to spray it right into the drain and right to the top of the vent to maintain the monolithic membrane. We spray down about 60 mils of the Roof Armor HD and we're done. Our Roof Armor HD is also available in a direct to metal version that's more flexible to expand and contract with the building's roof system. We also have a Roof Armor system for both acrylics and silicones. Polysource Industries, your one-stop shop for all things foam and protective coatings.